Yo, it's Gold Jack Luke. The Gold Jack is on. It's a rare occasion. This is gonna be a really fun video. So, um, here we go. In this video, I'm gonna prophesy about the future. I'm gonna pretend I'm a prophet and tell you what I think. I'm gonna tell you three things that I think are gonna happen in the future. And just weigh it. In like 100, 200 years, people are gonna look back and be like, whoa, the gold jacket Luke prophecies came true. It's like the 23rd century and people will like be like studying my prophecies. You just watch. All right, so prophecy number one. You know how there's like Yelp and rating sites for businesses? I think in about 20 to 30 years, there's gonna be some sort of technology that rates people. And imagine how much data is gonna be collected about everything, about everyone in 20 to 30 years. And imagine all the information that is gonna be public. I think there's gonna be like ways that like your credit card, your bank account information, your travel history, uh, your GPS monitoring by satellites, uh, your relationships, everything on Facebook, every single thing you've probably ever posted on the internet, there's gonna be a way to like search and figure out basically anything about anyone in the whole world in about 20 to 30 years who are like living in the modern era. And I think it's gonna be really scary. So I really like Edwin Snowden. I think he is like a true hero for declaring the truth and fighting back like a big privacy issue, which was the NSA spying on all of us. But I like think things like the Patriot Act and there's some other act that I think they're really eroding on our liberties and our privacy and I think our privacy is gonna be a huge issue in about 20 or 30 years and basically every single thing that you've ever done in your entire life will be like recorded on this mega history. People will be able to write reviews about you so if you're like you met a girl you're gonna like go like Siri 13.7 can you search up blank and blank and Siri is gonna have like an insane amount of data and the world's gonna be a crazy place because privacy is gonna be dead. So I think some good things are going to come out of this. For example, I think people are going to have like a reputation. I think we're going to figure out who are all like the douchebags and assholes in politics, who are all the corrupt people running our country, because ev like everyone's going to like know everything about everyone. So I think we're going to there's going to be a big movement of getting bad people out of government and bad people out of big business and people are gonna be able to revolt because they're like, well, look at all this information, this guy is clearly a douchebag. Look at all of what, like, look at what all these people are saying about this person. So I think in a way, evolution is almost gonna like switch, like completely polar you. Like I think what, instead of like the strongest survive, which is like Darwin's theory, I think the most loving people are gonna evolve. Instead of like, it's the, it's the most loving evolve rather than the strongest evolving. It's not survival of the fittest, it's going to be survival of the most loving. It's going to be who has the best reputation, who has served the greater good. Because everyone's reputation and who they are is going to have an infinite amount of data on it. And everyone's going to be like rating everyone and there's going to be all this data about how people spend their money and what people do with their time and what people think about them. And there's going to be all these online insane data collection agencies that are just fucking people's privacy. So there's gonna be a, a yin yang to everything, a good and bad. One good thing is we're gonna like clear out a bunch of douchebags and be like, you're not allowed to like do this crap things behind their backs because we actually know we're doing it and we have proof. But at the same time, you're gonna have no privacy and it's gonna be a very open world. So I'm kind of like, like just saying whatever the fuck is truth for me because I am open giving myself to the public. It's gonna come out one way or the other in, in the future. And if I were you, I would really think about the future of evolution. The future of evolution isn't going to be strongest of the fizz. It's going to be strongest of the person who has the best reputation. It's going to be strongest of the most loving. It's going to be like, instead of Darwin's theory of evolution, it's going to be like Gold Jack Luke's theory of love and reputation. And the people who are like the most loving, the people who are like spreading greater, greater good, they're going to have the best reputations. They're going to have like the best social, like business networks in the future. Watch out. It's going to be cool. It's going to be scary though. Prophecy number two. I think in about 500 years, so I think technology is going to accelerate at an insane amount in the next 500 years and it's going to be growing exponentially. And I think in about 500 years, we're going to have developed time travel and have mastered the art of time travel uh, to the point where we go back in time and save everyone who has ever existed. So if I died today, right before I die, people are going to come back from the future like grab me, put like a fake clone body of me 
in like my casco or in the grave, or like the moment right before I die, they like switch me. Like the very split seconds, for like right where you die, you're like in the hospital, they like put a fake body right where you are, and then they boom, they take you into 5000 AD, and they put you into like simulators into how to reassimilate into the modern day society. So I think maybe this is like way out in the future, maybe this is like for super alien technology, maybe I should be a sci fi writer, but I think in the future, we're gonna go back and save every single human, animal, every single sentient being through time travel. Pretty cool idea, right? All these ideas I think are original ideas. I think I just thought them myself. I mean, time travel isn't anything original, but like the whole idea of how I'm presenting it, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> and my third prophecy is I think right now people are realizing that fundamental religion is pretty bizarre. So right now the fashion of people's beliefs is turning to atheism. And right now atheism is more of the in thing. But I believe in about 80 to 120 years, that the in belief is going to be more along the lines of the Hindu belief, which is that we are all God. That I am God, you are God. I've made lots of videos about this in my channel. But really think about the language of what, of what I'm saying. By God, I mean I am one with the same energy of everything else. I'm interconnected. Um, Alan Watts explains this idea beautifully. Like he interprets Hindu and Buddhism and Christianity and like combines them into one like super religion, which is like really fucking awesome. It's really empowering. It's like the belief that you are God and that you're really playing hide and go suck, si <laughs> sorry, sometimes I can't talk, but you're really playing hide and go seek with yourself right now. And if you think of what would God do for infinity, God would get bored and he would eventually end up being the person you are right now watching this video. You are God and I think that's gonna be the in fashion religion and belief system of the future because it's really empowering. Fundamentalist religion is like bizarre. It's like this God separate from you that's all powerful. Atheism is like empowering because it's like, yeah, we're tough, we're atheists, we're like making our own destiny. But then it's like, it's kind of a chaotic, crazy world. It's not very fun, but the belief that I'm God, that's even more empowering than atheism. It takes like the best of both. And I think that's going to be like the fashion of beliefs in the future of the I am God, we are all God belief system in our own self created video game, which I talk about in lots of my separate videos. So in the future, the Gold Jack Luke prophecy officially is. Privacy is going to be dead. We're going to have a Yelp-like system that has data, an insane amount of data on every single person in about 20 or 30 years. Uh, we're going to invent insane time travel where we actually save every single sentient being who ever existed. And uh, all your, like your grandma who you thought was dead is actually living in the future now, completely fine and safe. And that uh, the religious belief fashion trend of the future is the belief that we are all God. I'm God, you're a God. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out. Let me give you a quick pan. A lady actually came by and she was like, this is a bird reserve. And she uh, gave me uh, her binoculars and like zoomed in on here and there's actually like birds, like rare birds or some shit. So check that out. And another thing I'd like to say is go be crazy. Be crazy today. Do something ridiculous. Gold Jack Luke out. Peace.